In the competitive sphere of UFC, where precision and unpredictability reign supreme, Sean O'Malley ruled the game with his redefined art of striking. The bantamweight champion is known for his distance management, footwork, and elusive fighting style. A maestro of the unpredictable, Sugar stands tall as one of the most formidable strikers in the UFC today. As we delve into the enigma that is O'Malley, questions arise. How does he manage to control the octagon with finesse? What sets his striking ability apart in this demanding realm? Most importantly, how did he orchestrate his strikes with such precision? Join us on a journey through the electrifying universe of Sean O'Malley, a universe where he relentlessly pursues victory by being elusive and unpredictable. Let's decipher the phenomenon by strategically highlighting his movements. First, let's see what sets Sean O'Malley apart. What sets Sean O'Malley apart is that he is not just a great striker, but also a creative striker. What makes him special is his distance management. O'Malley is almost a class in distance management. That makes him evade being caught and, most importantly, avoid strikes at different ranges. This distance management is crucial to both his defense and offense mechanisms. See how he uses exceptional footwork, allowing him to move in and out of striking range with agility. He employs everything. His agility, rapid movements, footwork, and height. He utilizes everything to stay at an optimal distance. His footwork enables him to control the distance between himself and his opponents, making it challenging for them to land effective strikes. O'Malley excels in judging and controlling the distance during a fight. He stays at an optimal distance where he can enrage them, but they can't touch. Here, he uses everything, his height, swift movements, and footwork, all to his advantage. Not only is he a master of maintaining that distance, but he certainly knows how to come close, cover that distance, launch his own attack, and move back to his safe distance. He utilizes that distance for both offensive and defensive portions of his fight. He uses both front body kicks and spinning kicks to keep the opponent at a distance. This skill allows him to stay outside his opponent's striking range, making it difficult for them to land significant blows. Simultaneously, he can swiftly close the distance when launching his attacks. To maintain the distance, O'Malley uses his footwork. As the distance increases, O'Malley employs swift and fluid stance switches. This dynamic shift serves multiple purposes, keeping opponents guessing, creating unexpected angles, and setting the stage for his next move. The best advantage of O'Malley maintaining distance is the way he manages distance with footwear and boxing. This combination effectively creates a diverse offensive arsenal and keeps opponents off balance. Notice how, in his recent fight against Aljamain, O'Malley maintains the distance and then uses his foot strike and a punch to have his opponent on the ground. Once he had him defenseless on the ground, there came swarms of hammer fists with some big shots and boom, the damage has been done. And he wins only in 51 seconds of round two. But what adds formidability to his attacks? That is where we would like to discuss his punches and elusive footwork. Sean O'Malley's use of punches and footwork while maintaining that distance makes him so good. Sean O'Malley's striking brilliance is exemplified through the seamless fusion of dynamic front kicks and precise boxing, coupled with an elusive footwork that defines his inimitable style inside the octagon. O'Malley employs front kicks with finesse, strategically using them to disrupt his opponent's rhythm and create openings. Whether targeting the body or face, these kicks serve as offensive weapons and defensive shields. His ability to seamlessly transition from front kicks to a sophisticated boxing game sets O'Malley apart. His punches with calculated precision, jabs to maintain distance, crosses to penetrate defenses, and hooks to exploit vulnerabilities. This integration of front kicks and boxing is complemented by O'Malley's elusive footwork, a dance that keeps him perpetually out of harm's way. He can fight with plenty of kicks. He employs karate techniques like shuffle techniques and pulling techniques. His favorite is hands down, head lean, and he deftly closes the gap and comes forward. 
he moves back with the same speed, making launching an attack difficult for the other one. His lateral escapes, angle changes, and swift maneuvers evaded incoming strikes and set the stage for his own devastating combinations. The result is a symphony of strikes and movement, a testament to O'Malley's mastery in creating an unpredictable stand-up game. Sean O'Malley's striking repertoire goes beyond the conventional, and his ability to chain strikes is a testament to his creative and unpredictable approach. O'Malley's goofy movements and comic gestures may seem entertaining, but he is the master of his game. He is the trickster. He will show them his hands when he is about to strike a foot, move his head and change the angle combination, and step off only to send a swarm of punches. He will attack from well-executed feints and or switching of stance. He will twitch his legs and hips when he actually implants some punches. His head-turned feints may seem goofy, but they effectively catch his opponent off guard. He will misdirect guys with movements and then send clean and crisp strikes. He will employ a classic pull-out counter where he moves out of range and then strikes with a precision that the opponent is not expecting. O'Malley uses these feints to manipulate the situation. He confuses the fighter with his feints, head movement, and switching stance. See how he feints an offensive move. Paiva tries to counter with his right hand as a counter reaction. But O'Malley was expecting it. Only a few seconds later, he feints again. Now that Paiva knew his trick, Paiva didn't react. But this time, an actual front kick. Well, this is an underreaction. When he takes the kick, O'Malley slightly changes his strategy and this time adopts a boxing-oriented technique. While O'Malley can draw counter-reactions and under-reactions, he also triggers over-reactions. Over-reaction is when you visibly react to his feints and flinch or move back which lands you directly into his trap, as this is how he keeps the opponent in the distance. Now is the time to place his final real strike. O'Malley uses feints to draw reactions and creates openings. See how he feints the front kick. But when Omega shields his upper body for a straight kick, exploiting the opening, a head kick takes him unprepared. But do these feints and fakes make him the elusive fighter? His switching between southpaw and orthodox leaves his opponent no clue as to what is coming. O'Malley's is quick on feet. His ability is second to none. Sean O'Malley's prowess in switching stances is a hallmark of his unpredictable fighting style. He seamlessly transitions between orthodox and southpaw stances, perplexing opponents and struggling to anticipate his next move. His ability to shift his foot positioning fluidly adds an intricate layer to his striking game, introducing a dynamic element of surprise. As he draws reactions from his opponents, he can switch slides to counter that. With the capacity to alter angles, he can close the distance swiftly and return to his original position adeptly. Whether launching an attack from an unexpected angle or crafting elusive defensive maneuvers, O'Malley's stance switching is a strategic tool to create openings for his precise strikes. With his switching stance comes his side-to-side -side movements as well. This footwork, forward and backward movements, switching stances and side-to-side -side movements help his offensive and defensive strategies. What makes O'Malley a great striker is his style. He does not follow traditional techniques. He is the master of his own craft. His lean body, agility, quick movements, everything is used to his advantage in the cage. There is certainly a pattern behind his comic moves. His overall comic get-up movements may seem funny, but they are a facade to cover his deadly attack. His feints and tricks make strikes even more powerful and unavoidable. Undoubtedly, he is one of the most fantastic strikers of his time. Stay connected if you want to know the fighting styles and get the latest from the MMA ring.